the holiday season is upon us and historically Americans tend to be more generous to charitable organizations during this time of year. With all the generosity and giving, it's also important, uh, an important factor to know the details of the organizations you are giving to. And here to share more, we have President and CEO of Direct Relief, Thomas Teig. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Brittany. So there are so many charities out there requesting donations. How can people sort through them all and pick the good ones? I think the first step to find a charity is to figure out what you yourself care about. And that's something that no one else can answer. And whether it's art or environment or sports programs or veterans, uh, they're all compelling, but you have to decide that once you do, then there are um, assistive devices and tools and websites that can help you pick the best one that can instill confidence that your contribution will be used by a fine organization in a way that you intend it to be used. And that those are Charity Navigator or the Better Business Bureau. Um, so they're giving you kind of a screen of, you know, their financial uh, performance and their record keeping, things that are important, but they don't tell you, um, <laughs> they can't decide I mean, a good charity that does something that you don't care about is not a good charity for you. So I think both of those dimensions are important. Yeah, that's a really good point. Now, since the recent hurricane struck the Gulf Coast and Carolinas, a lot of groups have been asking for money to help victims. But how can someone be confident that the money they give will actually go to help those victims? That's an important question, I think, particularly when there is a specific event to which people would like to contribute. And I think we've seen a lot of times where there'll be a, a, you know, a riveting event and people will say, you know, Hurricane Florence or Michael, give now. And the implication is that if you give, that the money will be spent only for those particular areas. That's not always true. So I think you have to look at the fine print, actually click on the website if you see one of those ads. And I think the simple question is if you give money for Hurricane Florence or Michael or whatever, Will, is, will the nonprofit use it only for that purpose? And they have to answer that question. Right. And it's an important one, particularly to be in sync with what the donor intends, because all of us nonprofit organizations are duty bound, ethically bound, and legally bound to use money in a way consistent with what the donors intend in giving it to them. And it's important to clarify that if there's any confusion. Okay, that's good to know. And of course, there are so many ways to give money now. Facebook, TV telethons, adding $5 to your supermarket payment, donating an old car. What's the best way to give to make sure that as much of the money as possible goes to the charity instead of, you know, the middleman? Great question. I think um, typically I would have always thought going right to the organization's website where they have a secure donation page um, on the website that you've selected has typically been the best, most efficient way to do it. However, over the past year or two, PayPal and Facebook have each um, developed a payment mechanism that absorbs all of the transactional costs associated with the gift. So whereas a normal contribution may take as little as three and as much as 8%, um, they take 0% and the charity gets all of the money and these are credible or, uh, companies that have set that up as their charitable contribution. So website, PayPal, Facebook, um, those are all good bets. Yeah, that's great to know. So this is really good information. If people want to find out more, is there a website they can go to? Directrelief.org has all the information about the past 70 years of our organization's experience. A Charity Navigator and the Better Business Bureau have excellent websites to focus specifically on charity ratings and the charity screening tools that consumers can use as well. Thomas, thank you.